So, uh, Supriya, it's been uh, two years since your first uh, production venture. Um, how has the adventure been so far? <laughs> it's been pretty good. I can't complain. No complaints, actually. Um, yeah. You've seen our filmography from Nine to Driving License to Kurudi. And uh, I think I'm learning. Uh, I think we are getting better with the, each film that's coming out. Our process of production, our process of doing things, um, you know, the ways of finding newer scripts and stories. While the original idea still remains the same, it is to tell the kind of stories others may not want to tell, uh, yeah. you know, for our production house. I think that mantra still remains the same. But uh, yeah, so far, so good. No complaints. <laughs> you know, learning the ins and outs of uh, this business, right? When did this process begin for you? Like when you met Prithvi, <laughs> was it like long back? <laughs> no, no, no. It wasn't actually. I was very much a journalist when I met Prithvi and I went back to journalism after marriage for a while. It was just yeah. that I couldn't keep up. We couldn't keep up our residences in both places. One was in Kerala and I lived in Bombay. So the yeah. long distance was a bit tough to manage. And yeah. his work was more location specific. So I decided to take a break for a while to come and be with him. And then yeah. we sort of had a baby and uh, then we decided that why not uh, look at our own production company. That was something that we had been wanting to do for a while. Uh, yeah. He initially had a company that where he was a partner with other people, but he wanted something of his own. So yeah. it started once we set up Prithvi Raj Productions to, uh, you know, the love for yeah. cinema was there, but the yeah. process of how cinema works and how things are shaped and formed, that really started after uh, Prithvi Raj Productions, uh, you know, yeah. uh, came came into the world yeah yeah because it's a big shift right journalism to film producer i mean a lot of factors that you have to you know consider like budget yeah, and I <laughs> Yeah. I don't think it's that big a shift because like I yeah. said, journalism is like telling stories. It is telling yeah, yeah. stories. You tell non-fictional stories. I tell fictional ones. And the difference is I used to sit where you're sitting and now it's the other side of the screen. <laughs> That's it, you know. I got to yeah. ask all the questions, which I really miss, uh, yeah. you know. But now I'm, I'm the one who's answering some of them. So <laughs> I feel um, it's not been that much of a shift because of this very reason. Because as a TV journalist, um, I was mm. producing, reporting, doing all of those things on my own with my mm. camera person and these were real stories of real people now i tell you fictional ones so yeah. and the process is much larger whereas i would have seen my byline on the evening or my piece to camera in the evening news or my yeah. byline in the paper <laughs> now uh, i have to wait for six months to see the, the you know see the movie uh, on ott or on uh, the theaters or in the theaters and then uh, so the time of uh, fruition is much yeah. longer the period of fruition is much longer you know, when Nayan happened, right? Uh, yes. You know, since we don't get enough sci-fi films in Kerala, so us sci-fi fans, we looked at that film as a potential, you know, game changer and something that could inspire us, you know, like how, what was the reception? Was it encouraging for that film? It was, but I also feel it was a film ahead of its time now in hindsight. In hindsight, yeah. it's always, one is always very smart uh, in hindsight. Um, yeah. Maybe today if the film comes out and it comes out in OTT, the kind of audience it would find and the kind of reception it would find would be very, very different. At that yeah. point in time, um, I think we are, we are still very happy that we did it when we did it. Uh, mm. Now, probably it might be perceived a little bit more differently because the world is much smaller now and everybody yeah. can consume the same kind of content. When Nine yeah. came out, it was not so. It was still theatrical era and streaming services yeah. were just coming to life at that point in time. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. So possibly today the film might find mo more takers than it did way back when it came out. I can't remember which year it came out. I think it came out in 2018, um, if I'm not wrong. 19, yeah. 2019, yeah. February. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 No, I think it would be, now would be a good time because when it Absolutely. comes out, everybody will be like, you know, this... The events in the film are like a metaphor for the pandemic. You know, yes, food. <laughs> yes. We got a lot of that. See, there are a lot of uh, film buffs who have watched the film now that it's on a streaming service and then they write to us and they give us feedback and they say, oh, we loved it and you brought this out then. Uh, yeah. But yeah, maybe, who knows, maybe Janus foresaw all of this. I keep telling him, like, <laughs> do you have some sort of weird, uh, you know, powers that could look into the future and tell you that this is how we're going to be? It is uh, reminiscent of what happens in a pandemic. Yeah. So, like, when the script of Kurudi uh, came to you, uh, how did Supriya, the producer, and Supriya, the journalist, look at it? 
Well, I have put Supriya, the journalist, on the back burner for now, uh, <laughs> as far as filmmaking is concerned. Uh, yeah. So Supriya, the producer, thought it was a fantastic story, written really well, very well balanced. It's a sensitive mm. subject, but it's handled so beautifully. And mm. at no point in time does the film take sides or tell yeah. you how to think. Uh, yeah. So I felt it was a beautiful story that needed to be told. And what better than Prithviraj Productions to, and who better than Prithviraj Productions? to tell yeah. you the story yeah was the initial version different from what we see now uh, not really not not mm. very different prithvi and anish and manu worked on the story a little bit i think mm. manu and anish had a more of a art house cinema mm. overview for kurdi whereas prithvi and i saw this edgy uh, thriller <laughs> crime thriller and that's what yeah. we brought uh, so yeah. i think uh, our vision sort of prevailed in that sense and uh, you know we all agreed that this this would work better so yeah. Kurdi is uh, in the shape and form that you see today was what uh, was conceived before shoot. Yeah, I think it's definitely a brave attempt. And I, I mean, the film worked for me. Of course, there are a few flaws that, uh, but there are people who disagree with me also, you know, like when it comes to taking sides, uh, I of course don't think that the film takes any sides. Um, like when you see these social media discussions right now, right? Uh, there are people who think that, you know, the film portrayed one community in a negative light and you know like some of the dialogues that they find are similar to you know clubhouse whatsapp discussions and uh, some of them found the ending so pessimistic you know that uh, i like the ending because it is a reflection of what is happening right now i mean you can't really find a solution through a film right so how do you look at all these things look let's let's be very clear for all of these discussions uh, that are taking place kurdi is a fictional story it's about yeah. 10 people who are stuck in a house and when they are really cornered how their ideologies propel them to act in a certain manner and yeah. uh, this is exactly what we were trying to show in kurdi and all of that we have said in kurdi has mm. uh, you know it's a very personal takeaway at the end of the day for the audience yeah. at no yeah. point in time as a producer or as, or as a creator have i told you you must think in this fashion or this yeah. is right or this is wrong we have yeah. steered clear from that and that yeah. has always been our intention that we will show you both sides equally balanced and you mm. take away whatever it is that you want to do because yeah. filmmaking uh, at the end of the day you know filmmaking is it's it's a very personal journey for yeah. Prithvi, Manu and Anish, it's very personal journey for them. And as mm. a viewer, it's very personal. You may watch in a room full of 10 people or your own family, but none of you may agree with what the takeaway is. So yeah. I feel one has to remember that uh, when one is discussing Kurdi. And mm. um, we are not here to make a comment on uh, anybody or, or any community. It doesn't We are not here to make generalizations. None of that mm. it was the mm. intent. The intent mm. is about telling a story about a group of people stuck in a house. It's a home mm. invasion thriller. And that's yeah. what we have tried to do. Yeah. Yeah. Was there any limitations? Uh, because, you know, considering the pandemic and also because there were portions that made me wonder whether night shoot wasn't possible. <laughs> you know, like uh, you guys had to use day for night and all that. Uh, You're not supposed to say all that. <laughs> <laughs> that's a secret, right? <laughs> uh, so how has pandemic uh, impacted Prithviraj products in general? Because, you know, when it comes to designing projects and uh, are you guys moving towards smaller budget films now or not really are we are also shooting Janaganamana and Kadua which are like really big films yeah, uh, which yeah. we have had to put on hold because of the pandemic but mm. yes a pandemic has affected everybody in the industry it's not just Prithviraj Productions a lot yeah. of everybody has been affected so yes yeah. uh, if a subject comes that's really big uh, larger than life we will mm. say that, yes, we would want mm. to do it, but maybe right now is not the time that we can pull it off because we exactly. have to be cognizant mm. of what is happening around us. Ultimately, we shoot in Kerala. If the story demands that we shoot in Kerala. And, mm. uh, you know, we are still in the midst of the pandemic in yeah. Kerala and most other states as well. Things are yeah. not, it's, you know, it's not like everything is clear right now. So, yes, so that in that sense, yes, plus pandemic has ensured that budgets have gone up a bit because there is a COVID budget now. There is a dedicated <laughs> COVID budget. I have yeah. to keep aside budget for testing my crew often mm. and uh, to ensure sanitization protocols um, on the sets. So all of that, yeah, it costs, it costs more and you have to be mindful. If you tell me today I want to shoot a scene, you're the director and I want uh, 200 junior artists on set, I have to say, mm. boss. This yeah. is not going to fly right now. So, yeah, <laughs> right. we have to be mindful of what's going on around us because we are dutiful citizens at the end of the day. Cinema yeah. is not made in isolation of what's going on around you. Yeah, yeah. What was the, I mean, I 
seen you mention your you know, most stressful moment as a journalist, but I want to ask you like most stressful ju- moment as a producer. <laughs> Thankfully, that has not come yet. But I think maybe no. one of the moments was uh, when you were shooting Janaganamana and mm. uh, at that point in time, Prithvi got COVID and then a lot of people on the set got COVID. So um, it was the last day of shoot. But yeah, that was that was stressful. So yeah. uh, I would say that it was pretty scary to know that so many people had COVID and uh, the lead star has COVID. So it, it was a pretty hairy moment. But yeah, nothing so far that you know, has been as hairy as what I've encountered during my journalism days. And I hope it stays that way. I don't want yeah. to, <laughs> to, that kind of stress is unparalleled. Yeah. So, so what is uh, Prithviraj Products is doing next? I mean, Kadua, what is the status of, uh, I mean, is something I'm looking forward to. <laughs> yeah, Kadua is, uh, we, we, we need to restart Kadua, but at the same time, uh, we have to be mindful of what is going on around us. So until things get better, I don't see that, I don't foresee that happening. We will have other films. We are in discussions and talks for a few other films. We will be making announcements really soon. I don't want to, uh, you know, I don't want to jinx it by saying it before things are signed. So, yeah. yes, uh, we will have a few announcements soon. Right now, of course, it's just been a few days since Kurdi has come out. So, it's a yeah. breather for us here at Prithi Raj Productions. <laughs> we are enjoying the reactions. We are humbled and grateful to all the fans who've seen it and are pouring their love out to us. So yeah, yeah. right now it's just, uh, you know, it's just time for us to sort of sit back and relax and enjoy the, you know, enjoy the yeah. feedback to Kurdi. Yeah. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. Supriya. Thank you so yeah. much, Ajay. And okay. have a good one.